Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Beetlejuice Funko's multi-grain cereal by Funko. Besides making vinyl figures and keychains and t-shirts, Funko now makes cereal. All the different cereals are kind of themed to different characters, um, with the same kind of basic multi-grain O's that come in different colors, but just the same generic O's. What makes them fun is the packaging, and the little toy surprise inside is a little mini pop. Um, here's a better look at the side of the packaging. If you're so inclined to see some of the stuff on the back, they all include this little kind of like basic maze and a little spiel on the back there. There you go, there's a close-up look at that. Uh, but yeah, uh, here we go. I review Funko stuff, and now here I am reviewing a box of cereal. But really, I'm just excited about the toy surprise inside. Uh, I don't know if it's in the bag or separate from the bag. Oh yeah, it's at the bottom there. Boop. And here we have a look at this little tiny Beetlejuice. Um, it's uh, got a, the newer head. Um, I just reviewed recently the, the guide Beetlejuice like the little tour guide outfit that uh, had a more sculpted mouth with the teeth sticking out. And uh, this seems to take its cues from that and its little hairstyle as well. Uh, but I do like the more standard body. This, this just makes me wonder if they're ever going to revisit uh, Beetlejuice as a pop because there was a standard older Beetlejuice pop. But you can see like this new hair scheme is a lot brighter. And uh, again, they've updated the head considerably and his hair sculpt is a little more wily. Uh, and I kind of dig the different way the hair on top is kind of swiveling out. Um, the, the, the little grime on the side of his face looks good. I like the arched eyebrows. I like the teeth. I definitely like the pose. Uh, I like not only the arms out, but the palms a little up. Um, yeah, he's got a little bit of a rounded belly, so it looks like he's leaning back a little bit. You can see a little arch dip in the back of his back there. Stripes on this look good. The the paint on his boots look nice. Uh, yeah, everything on this this body is well painted. The head, the purple around his eyes, the, the hair paint. This is all very, very good. This is a fun toy surprise. That's not a surprise at all. All right, and now the taste test. See how this goes. A little. Um, here we go. Little green funk O's. That's um. I'll be honest with you. That's pretty mediocre, and. Uh, they're really crunchy, like. You know, some cereal gets like really soggy, like instantly. Well, these don't. They don't really taste like much, and they have like this little coating on them. I'll be honest with you, they're not great. Um, but I didn't expect great. Well, let's be honest. Funko wanted to do like a fun novelty. They wanted to do uh, themed cereal. But they're not Kellogg's. They're not Post. They're not going to be known for like great cereal. They just need something that's good enough. Put it in a box. Put a toy in it. So yeah. Not great. But that's fine. I will say though that you know, it says Beetlejuice on it, but it's not like Beetlejuice cereal, just so you're all aware. If you're like, ooh, Elvira cereal, it's not going to be like Elvira with little, like, marshmallow boobs. The Freddy cereal is going to be like little red and green sweaters with little marshmallow claws. It's all just O's. All you're really getting out of this new endeavor is artwork on a box and a little poppy thing. Hang on. A little poppy thing. And it's not even like the standard... Like, like it doesn't, like his head doesn't articulate, but still, it's a fun little pop. Uh, I will say though, I got this exclusively at Box Lunch for ten ninety. So with tax, you're looking at like eleven eighty, eleven ninety something. So close to twelve bucks for a box of cereal. Not just a box of cereal. You're getting a little pop with it, right? But like this pop is not a, is not an almost twelve dollar pop. 
this cereal is not almost $12 cereal. Um, even at half and half, like, I think anything over four bucks is an expensive box of cereal. So, like, I don't know if it's worth it for a little mini pop. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I got this one. Like, originally, I was like, oh, I'm going to get the Freddy one and the Jason one and the Elvira one. And now I'm just like, well, you know, it's a little mini figure that's head doesn't turn. And some O cereal. The artwork on the box is nifty. It's kind of fun to display. I think it's cool that Funko is reaching into, like, reaching into our nostalgia. Be like, hey, kids, toy surprise in your cereal box. Um, because we all kind of grew up in that era, and Lord knows we never got Gollum cereal before. It's a neat endeavor. Not worth ten ninety. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Here's some crunching.